girl Taurus takeover here to do a what does your soul need to hear reading for my Libras born in the month of September thank you for joining me if you are new to my channel welcome and if you are a repeat subscriber thank you for subscribing thank you for watching I really appreciate you we're just gonna go ahead and get right into it okay so Libra this is what your soul needs to hear you need to reclaim your power. Just think about that for a moment. Note one reason why you give away power in your everyday life. And then ask yourself if that situation is worth losing your peace of mind over. Your goal is to reclaim your power in a positive and mindful way. When I look at this card, I see someone who's holding on to a lot. Uh, you're pretty peaceful and content well, with what you have, with what you have going on in your life. But there still remains the question, what are you going to do with all the things that you're holding? So Libra. This is the overall energy for the reading. Uh, let's see if I see anything else on here that I need to clear up. Some of you, um, remember, I have this is a general reading because I have to read so many different type of Libras, male, female, different age, different religion, it doesn't matter. Um, this is a general reading, so some details may hit you, some may not. Uh, some of you may be a dancer, uh, some of you may be doing some things that have to do uh, over the internet, World Wide Web. Uh, some of you uh, are going through a lot of different cycles, I would say. But you're not letting it uh, take your peace, okay? But you're also not using the power that you do have as you should okay so here's the overall energy let's go ahead and get into it all right so Libra there may be a Leo in your environment it doesn't have to be okay but you may not be using your enlightenment you may not be using uh, your compassion, your patience. Uh, some of you may not be taming your uh, certain desires or lust, you know, that may not be serving you. Um, these are the, some of the things that you may be experiencing. And at any time, life can change. You, you have the Wheel of Fortune card here. Okay, the Wheel of Fortune. All right, so I get the vibe that some of you are writers. Maybe you're writing a book. Maybe you're writing a few books. But you got to finish the story. You got to finish the book. Um, could be a Sagittarius in your environment. Whatever you probably want to do, you 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 don't want to just do it. You want to do it big, okay? You know, um, and and there's nothing wrong with that. But in doing it big, you have uh, the strength card here. This actually showed up for you twice, okay? One in reverse, and uh, one upright like it is now. So basically, uh. Like I say, it could be a strong Leo presence in your environment or uh, you may just need to take on this energy or you are actually taking on this energy. Um, so when we're talking about reclaiming your power, I got to use this card for a minute, you guys, so I can see it all together. When we're talking about reclaiming your power, part of your power Maybe in you being compassionate. Maybe in you being patient. 
It may be you, in you using your enlightenment. It may be in you doing things that other people are afraid to do. Your power may be in taming your lust, taming desires, taming your mouth. That's where some of your power is and you need to reclaim it. Because I do see victory here. This is the victory card. Cue the victory music. Okay. So this is about forward movement. Okay. You may have a Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius in your environment. It does not have to be. This could just be the energy that you are taking on or or moving towards taking on. When we're talking about reclaiming your power, this is talking about reclaiming your power in your using or holding on to your spirituality. Actually putting that spirituality, uh, that intuition into action. That's where your victory is going to come from. And this is about forward movement, moving forward. How do I know this? Why? Because your next card is the Queen of Swords. You could have a Gemini and Libra Aquarius in your environment or a Scorpio Cancer Pisces. Okay. Both of these people are moving in the same direction. For movement. Okay. That needs to be your aim. That is how you reclaim your power. You need to stay focused. You need to put those thoughts that you have into action. You need to, some of you need to say what you need to say. And I know you're like, hold on, you just told me to tame my mouth. Listen, the Queen of Swords is here. This is an advice card. I asked for advice on this one. So this is the, the, the Queen of Swords. She knows the truth when she hears it. Um, but she also has no problem with uh, cutting you up with her truth. Okay. Um, this is all about putting emotions behind you with the Queen of the Swords and, and, and moving forward with the thoughts uh, and the things that you said you're going to do. Uh, move forward and do it. Because there's a transformation. I feel that like there's a transformation that has occurred. Uh, within you, Libra. So you're no longer that caterpillar in the cocoon. You are the butterfly now. You are the manifestation. So move forward in that. Let your intuition, let your spirituality, let everything that you have learned guide you forward. Forward. Forward movement. Maybe that'll be the title. Anyway. So, Libra. How do you reclaim your power? Because this is what your soul needed to hear. You need to reclaim your power. You can hold on to everything you know. You can hold on to everything you have. But what are you going to do with it? If it's something you need to finish or complete, something you said you were going to do, but you haven't done it yet, something you've thought about continuously, but you haven't started, or you started and you haven't finished, the advice is to finish it. Because... You could impact great change with different types of people in different types of places. All you have to do is take action. But in your action, you got to remain humble. You got to remain compassionate. You know, you got to know when, you know, what they say in public, you got to know when to hold them and when to fold them. Well, it's the same thing with your mouth. 
You got to know when to hold it and when to fold it. Okay, when to shut up and when to speak. But you got to use your intuition, that inner man, that inner voice to guide you. Which means what? Tapping into your spirituality. Tapping into the things you've learned. Maybe the strength that you need, the compassion you need, it could be with the Libra person. Doesn't have to be. Maybe your victory uh, is uh, maybe you're dealing with someone who's a Sagittarius or Aries or Leo. Maybe your victory is tied to them. But you got to tap, in, tap into your spirituality. You got to move forward. Although people may be around you, supporting you, or pretending to support you, uh, you're the only one on your horse, okay? That's you riding off into the future, doing your thing. So, reclaim your power and look good while you're doing it. Yes, yes, yes. This is the time to put emotions behind you. Put them behind you. We're moving forward. In truth. And not only in thinking that truth, in speaking that truth. In moderation, Libra. Okay? So reclaim your power. That is what your soul needs to hear, Libra. And another thing, Libra. Reclaiming your power is all about how you do it. You want to do it in a positive way. You don't want to be rash about it, uh, negative about it. Even this queen of swords, she's a queen. She can cut folks up with her words if she wanted to. Or even, uh, you know, not only metaphorically, but physically as well. But you can choose not to do that, okay? Uh, you, you, you choose to reclaim your power. Choose to get your victory in a positive way in a compassionate way in a loving way in a kind way in a peaceful way you can do that and you'll see your will of fortune turn in a direction that you know you had power you your power, your thoughts, your words, your action made your manifestation come to pass. So good luck on your journey, Libra. Looking forward to you reclaiming your power. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Like, comment, share. Uh, you know, I have all other signs available. They just click the playlist and see what their soul is drawn to. So thank you, thank you, thank you again. How I always end my uh, videos is share some love, share some lights, enjoy your life. And I will see you guys in the next video. Reclaim your power, Libra.